Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I groom my dog. Right Noodles? Can I have a high five? Thank you! First I give her a bath, then a blow dryer, then she looks like this. Now onto the equipment. Barber comb, small scissor to cut around her eyes, medium sized scissors, we'll use that also to cut around her eyes, and these thinning shears to remove jagged edges, curved scissors is a must have, flea combs to get the boogers out of her eyes, a poodle brush, and a poodle detangler comb. For clippers, I'm using Hold Dog and looks like this. I have it at 0.0, I mean 0.8. And I'm gonna be using the 12 millimeter clipper guard. So the very first step is making sure that she is tangle free and not free. So I start off buzzing the back from the neck all the way down to the base of her tail and just avoid the legs for now. And then for the legs, I lightly brush the buzzer over it and I don't use the full length of the clipper. And then when I get to the chest, I just buzz from the neck all the way down the chest, careful to avoid the legs. And after I'm done with the chest, I usually take the buzzer and I buzz around her neck area. This is what she looks like so far with a clean neck. So after I'm done with the neck, I clean up her jowls. I keep her jowls very short, so I'm buzzing from her chin down her neck like so. She's so cute. So now I remove the clipper guard to clean up her tush. Now I'm onto the legs. I use a curved scissor to clean around her body and her paws. And I just make sure that everything looks symmetrical and even from the front. And when I'm done shaping, I use the thinning shears to clean up any jagged edges. And sometimes I'll use the curved scissors again to reshape. And then for the legs, I use the medium sized scissors. I like her legs to be fluffy, so that's why I don't buzz them. And then to round out her legs, I use the curved scissors again. And then I use the thinning shears to kind of make it look smoother. Um, so I'm getting using that to get rid of the jagged edges. And she is being such a good girl. She's gonna get so many treats after this. Um, and finally, um, I just pretty much go over it once or twice again just to make sure everything looks even and smooth. And then I do the same for the back legs. Again, I use the curved scissors to shape her thighs and her legs. And then when everything looks even, I go over again with the thinning shears. And this is the final look for her body. Now onto her face. I usually start by detangling and combing out the hairs on her face and then using the curved scissor to round out her head.
So this part requires a lot of patience and a lot of practice and I don't want to mess up her face so it really helps when I gently hold her ears back so that I can get a really good look at the shape of her head as I'm cutting. Don't forget the mustache. And we also round up the top of her head. For the eyes, we use a detangler comb, comb the hair on top of the eyes forward, and then cut with the curved scissor. I actually want her eyelashes to grow, so I'm just careful not to cut those off accidentally. Um, and then we use the medium-sized scissor, as you can see, um, just so that it's easier to maneuver around her eyes. For the side of her eyes, her ear tends to push the hair forward and it can get really uncomfortable for her, so we cut it short. And then finally, we go over her entire head and face with the thinning shears. And now onto the snout, we comb it out and then we use the curved scissor starting by the mouth, cut off the handlebars and then round it and shape it all around. I think this is the most difficult part because when you're cutting their face, they tend to move a lot. So she's used to it now. She just falls asleep when we groom her. So it really helps to train them to just be calm. Sometimes the hair uh, right underneath her nose and above her lip can grow really long and they get stuck inside her mouth so we keep that part short. Finally, when the snout is done, we just take another look at her and use the thinning shears to make sure everything is even. Again, I just want to mention that you will see a switching between thinning shears, curved scissors, and medium-sized scissors and small scissors often, so just make note of that. And now for the ears. We cut along the edge of the ears and we also taper the length of the ears. But generally, we keep her ears very long. Okay, and here is the finished look. Don't forget to smash that like button and for more content, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and TikTok.